Hey everyone, Jamie here from TechicalCafe.com. Welcome to your third HTML tutorial. Uh, in the last two tutorials, we basically learned how to set up a basic web page using uh, a title, a header, um, some paragraphs, and we also learned how to format those uh, the text that was included in those paragraphs. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to change uh, the font color of text within a website. So as you can see, this is the uh, website we made previously in the last two tutorials, and this is what it looks like. So what we're going to want to do is we'll we'll change the color of each of these paragraphs to a different color. So what we're going to want to do is go to our code here. And in order to change the color, we can use either CSS, we can include something in the body uh, over here of the uh, HTML document, or we can just use the font tag. Um, and we're going to use the font tag for this one. It's uh, I feel it's easier to use and it uh, gives you more control over um, individual uh, things that you want to turn into colors. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is apply the font tag, which is just font. And for the to change the font's color, we'll go font color. And in this one, this is a different tag than most other tags because you're going to need an equal sign. Um, font color equals, and then you should put in uh, some quotes. So between this tag over here, I'll move this down just so uh, you can see. So what we're going to want to do here is enter in a color. For this, we'll enter in red, and font color red. This will change all the text underneath the first beginning font tag to red. Um, and also, font tags do require that you have a closing tag, uh, otherwise all this will be red. And I'll show you that right now. We save. As you can see here, all the text is turned red. So let's say we just want to turn paragraph 1 red. What we're going to do is we'll take the font tag, and we will close it. Just close font. You don't need to choose to close the color or red or anything like that. Um, that's all you want. And also you can put the font tag over here if you wanted to, or over here. It doesn't really matter. It's still read by the computer the same way. But anyway, I'll refresh here and I'll show you what it looks like. After closing it, only paragraph 1 is read. So we'll change the color of paragraph 2 to, let's say, uh, we'll change it to green. So font color equals, uh, we've got to remember your parentheses, green and we'll um, end that right there. And over here we'll go and close our fonts tag. And we'll refresh over here and you'll see that this is green. Let me just add some spacing here to make things a little easier to read. So we'll add, we'll make paragraph 3, let's say we want to make it blue, so font color equals um, quotation marks blue and we'll close it, otherwise our paragraph 4 in crazy text will end up being uh, blue as well, and that's not something you we're going to want for this. So we'll save, and go back, and paragraph 3, as well as the strike, they're both blue. So, uh, paragraph 4, uh, we'll use a hex code, because um, font, the font color tag, instead of, in, in addition to s supporting colors like red, blue, green, it also supports hex codes, which, um, they look something like this. It's a number sign, and then a pound sign, and then like six numbers or letters. And that's um, that's just a color code. You can look those up online. There's a bunch of them, uh, all corresponding to different colors. So we'll start our tag font color equals, and we'll just enter in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll see what this gives us. And then we'll end our font tag right here. Save it. Go over here. And one, two, three, four, five, six doesn't really. I think it looks like a blue or something like that. It's not too much of a graphic change, so we'll change it again. We'll turn the 3 into another 3. And I'll uh, save it and refresh our web page over here. And uh, still not that drastic. If we change this, we'll change this here. Ah, uh, it's a gray. But you get the point. So, crazy text, we'll just change it to. Um, orange, and again we're going to close our font tag, so here we go, we'll come over here and refresh, and we have orange, in the strike through, in bold, and everything, uh, that all gets changed to color, so the font tag is just, uh, it's a pretty cool tag that you can use to change the colors of your website, you can even change the header if you want, or if, let's say you want to turn, you want to keep a paragraph red, and you want to put one back to, uh, you want to keep one blue, this is what we can do, you can go to font color red paragraph, and after paragraph here, um, we can end the fonts tag and start a new one, so font color equals blue, 
and then slash font. You only need really one closing font color. Oop, forgot a exclamation uh, quotation mark up here. So we'll save, go to the first web page here, refresh, and you can see that you have paragraph is red and one is blue. So you can kind of interlace the font tags if you want to. Um, as you can see right here, they're not really organized, so it's best to uh, set them up so that they're organized like this. This is uh, easier to read because you can see where the tag begins, where it ends, whereas here, um, just put a space here, you can it's just kind of all over the place. So I would hear they're layered also so you can see you know what's, what tags are where, and if maybe if you made a mistake, you can easily view uh, what that mistake is. So feel free to play around like that, get some colors that you like, look up some hex numbers, um, and then play around with them and see see what you can get your website to look like. Maybe add some more paragraphs, some more text, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, so this is it for your third HTML tutorial. Please tune into the fourth HTML tutorial, and also please feel free to subscribe if you like these videos. Uh, you can ask questions in the comments if you want, uh, have some suggestions or anything like that. Feel free to post them in the comments. And also please feel free to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash jamiemcg for more information about what I'm up to. And technicalcafe.com is my website, uh, technical blog where you can find all sorts of information. So thank you for watching and please feel free to tune in to the next one.